Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Now here, this is now going to become interesting. Um, with ADA, this triangle pattern that we talked about in the previous video is not valid anymore. Um, we did discuss different options in the previous videos and I highlighted to you that this can only be a triangle if we are holding above the C wave low. Now, as you can clearly see, we did break below that um, 38.9 cent level, I think it was, this C wave low. And because we did that, the triangle is not valid. While in a so-called elite wave triangle, the um, E wave can break briefly below the trend line. It cannot break below the C wave. This is invalid and therefore this triangle, op triangle option is not on the table anymore. However, we talked about an alternative in the previous videos and um, yeah, unfortunately, this um, makes it difficult to, to maintain the idea of one more wave up here directly from this support area. So at the moment, I'm, I'm going to take this out now. Um, this is clearly um, not valid anymore. However, it doesn't mean we are going to break too much lower. Um, I'm going to relabel now the chart and we are simply going to take that out. I keep it simple. Um, I did highlight to you that if we make, if we break and invalidate that triangle, we probably have the situation that this here is a wave one and that we are coming down here in a wave two and would then have a chance to rally higher. Now, this is the very bullish idea that we are rallying higher in five waves and that this is a wave two. Um, but it could also simply be, and maybe I should prefer that just to make people not too bullish, um, because we need to stay on the side of caution here with the um, with the possibility still that this is all a B wave. Yeah. Um, no, I put them both on the chart. So it's possible, it's possible, it's possible that um, here, this wave two is of course in. Yeah, we talked about that. I will actually label that as an alternative wave two at the moment. So it's possible that wave two was shallow. This is a possibility that I'm exploring on some other crypto charts as well. So that we rallied here, the distance of the December lows, end of December, yeah, into the February highs as a wave one, that's unchanged that we came down in what you could consider a completely correct or a complete corrective pattern, had an entry point down here, down here, a trend reversal area to uh, yeah, turning point, basically around 34 and a half cents. And this was a complete corrective pattern, ABC. So the idea was either this is only the A wave of this larger wave two correction. And then this is now the B wave and we will come down and see or this is already the wave too low and we're going to rally in a one, two, three, four, five pattern higher, which would be the bullish escalation. Um, and both are possible, both are possible. Um, however, I think the idea of this being an overshooting B wave is not too unlikely. You might just hear the dog, <laughs> the dog in front of the door. Um, the idea is not, to, that's the dog if you heard that. Um, it's not too unlikely to have the idea that this is an overshooting B wave. Why? Because the move down was in three waves, A, B, C. So the idea is that this could be a B wave, even if it rallies a little bit higher. The maximum here that it should really do is the 44 cent level. Going above 44 cents uh, would unlock more of the bullish potential here, the direct breakout count. Yeah? Okay, so what do we do now? I'm going to show you here a possibility. In the short term, yeah, they are the good. That's the good thing again. They are probably very similar in the short term. These counts. So we either have here the wave one of the higher degree wave three. This would then be the wave two of the three. This is the wave three of the wave three. Until here, everything's the same because in the more bearish count, we could say this was an A wave. This here is a B wave and we are rallying higher in a C wave and could then this ABC could be a higher degree B wave and we will then come down, yeah? A, B, C. And the limit here should be 44 cents. It shouldn't really go higher. Why is that the case? That's because 
typically you would not expect an overshooting B wave go higher than the 44 cent level in there. Um, in this case, the 1.38 uh, retracement. So what does that mean in the very short term? It means here, and this is what is really relevant in the short term now. Um, oops have to see this here as probably a wave W. This was an X wave triangle, talked about that option in the previous video. And now we're coming down in the wave Y. Yeah. And the X wave is probably a triangle. You can label that for you as well, just uh, while not much is going on in the market. A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. And then break down in an uh, in a wave Y. And at the moment, it could very well be that this here was the A wave. Let me see, probably here, this was the B wave. And we're now coming down in a C wave. And I'm going to make that white and we're going to change the wave degree. And this count um, is basically valid. Um, this could technically, theoretically already be finished um, because we have three waves down, yeah. It's just a bit too short. So the best um, or the first reversal signal now would be a break above the B wave high. So if it breaks now above 39.6 cents, this would be a first reversal signal. A better one would be a break above the end of the triangle, the break above the E wave high. And that would be 40.59 cents. What is the ideal target to the downside though? So ideally we go down further. I would expect primarily further down. The reason is, let's take the length of the wave W, that's target, yeah? Go to the high of the X wave. Ideal target here would be 37 cents. That would be the ideal target, okay? Uh, in addition to that, we can try to calculate the triangle target, triangle thrust, to do that, we draw the CA line and extend it out further to the beginning. We take the height vertically at the beginning of the triangle. We go to the end of the E wave and this would send us down to 36.5. So not too far away from 37. So in that region, we've got a bit of confluence here, 36 and a half to 37 cents. Um, for a possible target, yeah? Uh, in addition to that, if I'm taking here the length of the A wave, go to the eye of the B wave, we've got the 1.618 extension target at 37.5 cents. So you could say between 36.5 and 37.5, we might have a target. So tendency here further to the downside in the very short term, because it did not maintain and hold the previous low. Um, this is sort of now the primary, yeah. This is micro counting, but the thing is if we now go down a bit lower, which would be expected, then uh, from here we have the next chance to turn around. This now looks a bit messy, but I wanted to add the, well, you know what, I will take the triangle count out to make it look a, a little bit less messy here and some of these subwaves that we don't need anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's now my latest uh, idea of how this uh, count could work out. Um, again, if it breaks above the B wave high now, we have to explore other options. I already have some ideas, but don't wanna make, make it too complicated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.